Welcome to Quality Improvement Assessing Data Quality. This is Lecture B. The objective for assessing data quality is to explore the attributes of data quality and key process recommendations for maintaining data integrity. The term gold standard often comes to mind in the discussion of the attribute of consistency. The value of the data or the representation of what the data mean should be reliable and mean the same thing across applications. The same data element when drawn from two different places should not conflict. Often in the subjective measures or complex concepts, a preferred definition or set of conditions must be provided in order to guide the user in how best to judge the real world state and record the correct data value from among the possible choices. It is important to note, however, that data can be consistent and still be incorrect. For example, a primary care provider's patient roster and billing data may note a patient as a correct, current patient when they have in fact transferred to another provider. Consistency does not always equate to accuracy. Allergy status is an example of an issue related to consistency that crosses all types of care settings. Consistent information is not only important from a data quality perspective, it is important to assure patient safety. The issue of allergies can be complex and can involve several levels of questioning to arrive at a conclusion. Within a particular care setting and across interface systems, the question can be standardized and users can be educated on the guidelines so that the data are consistent across all areas and across time. A recommendation for you to improve data quality is to assist the team in identifying if a gold standard exists to improve consistency in the use of the data. This process also involves determining if there is a true owner of the data, who has the final say in determining the phrasing for the data element, or who has the final editing rights. Auditing for inconsistencies across interfacing systems or across the stays or encounters for an individual patient can aid the team in their assessment of data quality for an important safety concern. Consistency in the collection of data may require user training and standardized data collection rules. Analysis requires monitoring consistency of the data elements to ensure that a valid comparison of data elements can be applied. The data warehousing process may require edits and conversion tables to facilitate consistent interpretation and use of the data for any element whose definition may be changed. System currency is judged based on how well it reflects the current world. Currency means the data are up to date and the information is correct despite time-related changes. The data are up to date if they are current for a particular point in time and outdated if the situation changes and the data are no longer correct. The term decay can be used to describe the temporal aspect of data currency quality. Data values can be accurate when entered, but become inaccurate over time. For example, a blood glucose drawn in the past is current only for the date and time the sample was taken. It should not be assumed that the value is current for any other point in time. Here's an example of data currency. The International Classification of Disease Clinical Modification Version 9, ICD-9-CM, was the official system of assigning codes to diagnoses and procedures associated with hospital utilization in the United States. In addition to their use for billing and reimbursement, these readily accessible coded data are often used to evaluate comorbidities and potential hospital-acquired conditions for quality studies and research. The ICD classification schema has been revised periodically to incorporate changes in the medical field. The next update to version 10 became effective October 1, 2015. All tables used to map the codes and crosswalks needed to be in place for this transition. Teams needed to be aware that the use of the codes before, after, or during the transition had to be properly mapped to the correct definitions in order to assure currency of the data and the analyses. As the real-world state changes over time, the values and the purpose for which the data are collected will also change. 
As an HIT professional who is astute in preserving the quality and accuracy for reliable use of data, you will work with the team to establish requirements and provide definitions for the currency of each type of data. Documentation of the rules and logic that were used for the data collection should reflect any changes or modifications that have been made over time, so that users of the analyses have a clear understanding of what the values and results of any analyses mean. Warehousing will evolve continually updating tables and maintaining lookup and crosswalks with clear documentation of when data changes occur. Currency means that the data represent the world at the time they are captured. Timeliness is more closely related to the accessibility and availability of the data for use when needed. Data are timely if the data are processed for use in time to conduct business and facilitate decision making. An electronic bedboard is an automated method to track and communicate patient locations. They are replacing older paper and telephone tracking systems. When it was originally implemented, the only interface that was built was the patient registration system to provide a daily midnight census download. Over time, interfaces with other systems such as pharmacy, laboratory, dietary, and other ancillary services systems have been built. The increased demand for current data about patient location has required more timely updates to the system to conduct daily business and inform the decisions that are made related to patient care and census management. Application of the data quality management model includes working with the team to establish standards or policies for the timeliness of the data collected and stored in relation to key events. Timeliness is defined by the use of the data for example, hourly or daily census data may be needed to support decisions, such as daily staffing, where monthly or annual census data would be used for longer range planning, such as budgeting or strategic planning. The use of the data will also drive the standards for the frequency and process of data collection and warehousing. Timely analyses allow for the opportunity to monitor progress and make course corrections to avoid negative outcomes. Data granularity is the degree of detail that is represented by the data, where the greater the detail, the finer the granularity. Depending on the requirements, multiple levels of detail may be present. Granularity in measurement refers to the intervals in either space, such as inches or feet, or time, such as seconds or hours. If data refer to entities sorted into categories, Granularity refers to the choice between a larger number of narrow categories, such as the ICD-10 category, or a smaller number of broad categories, such as the diagnosis-related groupings, or DRG codes. Quality in this attribute means striking the proper balance in the level of detail needed. The granularity of the data should not become so detailed that it is neither useful nor compatible with other systems to which the data may be transmitted or stored. The Institute for Safe Medication Practices, known as ISMP, is a nonprofit organization in the United States committed totally to medication error prevention and the safe use of medications. It regularly publishes alerts with lessons learned to assist the healthcare community in identifying potential pitfalls to avoid and safe practices to implement. One of the very first alerts issued by the ISMP was to caution providers about the expression of a decimal without a leading zero. An example of this type of error can be found on their website. It describes the death of a nine-month-old infant whose order for 0.5 milligrams of morphine without the leading zero was interpreted as 5 milligrams, resulting in an overdose and death. Misinterpretation of decimal points and other dangerous dose expressions and abbreviations continue as a source of medication errors, causing tragic results for patients, their families, and unsuspecting healthcare providers who have made these mistakes. Proper programming and identification of the appropriate levels of granularity in HIT are intended as safeguards to prevent these types of errors. Care should be taken to avoid these dangerous abbreviations and dose expressions in other communications, such as computer-generated labels, medication administration records, and labels for drug storage bins and shelves, 
pre-printed orders and protocols, and pharmacy and prescriber computer order entry screens. Hierarchy is a logical structure that uses ordered levels as a means of organizing data. Aggregation of data can be defined in terms of a hierarchy. For example, if we think about time or sequence as a dimension, then a hierarchy works to aggregate data on a yearly, quarterly, monthly, or daily level. Within a hierarchy, each level is connected to the levels above and below it. Data values at lower levels aggregate into the data values at higher levels. The purpose and use of the data may require different levels of detail. The process of data collection requires thoughtful determination of the appropriate level of granularity for the task at hand and the outcome analyses that will be completed. For example, granularity of age may be defined as days for neonates, as months for infants, and for years for those one year old or greater. These determinations will follow through to the level of granularity that is appropriate for the data that are warehoused. Precision refers to the degree to which repeated measures yield the same result under unchanged conditions. Precision or reproducibility is essential in order to allow for valid comparisons. Quality and precision means that the data values should be large enough to contain just enough detail to serve the intended purposes. Note that precision is not intended to be applied only to qualitative data. It can also refer to the descriptive terms used to represent qualitative data. The Meaningful Use Core Clinical Quality Measures for Primary Care Providers includes preventive care screening for over- and underweight conditions in adults. In order to meet the quality measure and quality for possible incentives for patients age 18 years old or older, there must be a Calculated Body Mass Index, or BMI, documented in the patient's medical record in the past six months or during the current visit documented in the medical record. In addition, if the BMI is outside of the identified parameters, a follow-up plan must be documented. The BMI requires information about the patient's current weight and height. Knowing that neither of these are measures that people self-report with a high degree of accuracy, it would be more precise to obtain these measures and record them, rather than rely on self-reported measurements. Another strategy to increase the precision of this measure is to reduce the factor of human error in the calculation and to program automatic calculations of the data with automatic alerts when follow-up is required, based on the established action parameters. Care should also be taken to complete these measurements with devices that are reliable, as evidenced by documented periodic calibration checks. Your knowledge can be used to guide the team to clarify the purpose and intended uses of the data and the questions that need to be answered. As discussed in several of the other data attributes, you will need to identify what level of detail is required, what the appropriate ranges for each element should be, and what categories of data elements will be needed for data collection. It is important to remember that accuracy is the degree of truth and precision is the degree of reproducibility. There should be validation or quality checks to determine if data analyses elicit the same or similar results and contain the needed level of detail when compared to past reports using the same data. Precision of the data must be demonstrated prior to storage in or extraction from the data warehouse. Relevance means that the data are meaningful or applicable to the performance or purpose for which they are collected. Every piece of information collected and stored should be important and provide information and value to the business at hand. If it is unclear how the data are to be used, the highest level of detail should be provided. Giving careful scrutiny to the relevance of data can build trust in the data, enable key processes, increase the accuracy of analyses using the data, foster support for decisions made from the data, and optimize performance of the database. Take this example of the importance of data relevancy. A multi-specialty medical practice group implements an EHR with a number of product features. In addition to registration to support billing and coding, it includes standardized history forms and progress notes, clinical reminders, 
and pharmacy and laboratory interfaces and reports. Members prioritize the critical decisions related to customization pre-implementation and determine that they will go with the out-of-the-box standard version of the clinical summary. However, two months after implementation, when each member has had the opportunity to determine the usefulness of the summary, they realize the ever-growing amount of clinical data that is accumulating for each individual patient. Knowing that one of the most critical tasks they must perform is to sort through large amounts of data to find pertinent information, they seek the opportunity to optimize the usefulness and relevance of the clinical summary. They determine the information that is relevant to all clinicians and supports the business needs of the practice for routine inclusion in the summary and allow each provider to customize the report to include data pertinent to their specialty which allows each user to answer clinical questions and support his or her clinical decision-making. This concludes Lecture B of Assessing Data Quality. In summary, data used for research purposes are collected under different conditions than those used for QI. Poor data quality contributes to error, and the 10 attributes of data quality are definition, accuracy, accessibility, comprehensiveness, consistency, currency, timeliness, granularity, precision, and relevancy.